Hello class, in this video, we're gonna talk about 5.4 operations and Venn diagrams with three sets. So in 5.3, we were using Venn diagrams, but they only had two sets. Now we're gonna include a third set. They can get more complicated than that, but they don't in, for us in this class. Um, so for number one, it says, given the following sets, find the set A union B intersect C. Now remember with the orders of these operations, we have to do what's in the parentheses first. Um, otherwise we do complements first and then unions and intersections from left to right. So here we're gonna have to find this intersection first and then we can find the union. So A itself in roster form is just gonna be one, three, four, five. Um, B intersect with C is what the two sets B and C have in common. And they seem to have one, two, and three in common. So I place those here. And then if you're doing the union between this set and this set, then you're listing all of the entries. So one, two, three, four, and five. So those, that is the result for number one. For number two, oh, I need to use the same sets. For number two, it says find A complement, intersect, B, union, C, complement. So the first thing I did was figure out what the complements are. I do need to do those first. So if this complement is inside the parentheses, I can go ahead and find it. Um, and then this one doesn't have any parentheses at all. So I can find that one too. So A complement would be um, no one, no three, no four, no five. So just the numbers two, six, and seven. And so that's what I've got here. For C, it's all the numbers but five. So you would mark out all the numbers but five, leaving you with just five. Now, for me to do this in the parentheses, since I already know what those look like, for me to do this in the parentheses, um, I would have to do um, the union of B and the complement. So here's the complement, here's B. I need to put those two together. And so I end up with the elements one, two, three, and five. Now I'm gonna take the intersection of the complement of A and B union complement of C. So I'm taking both of these sets and finding their intersection. So what do these two sets have in common? The only thing they have in common is the two. And so that is the final response for number two. For number three, it says, use the Venn diagram shown to answer the question. So we have this three circles, um, this is what's only in A, only in B, only in C. This is what's in A and B, but not in C. This is what's A and C, but not in B. This is what's in B and C, but not in A. And that central one is what's in A, B, and C. And then this set out here is anything not in A or B or C. So it says, which regions represent A? Now, A is everything inside this circle. So that would be one, two, four, and five, which is going in uh, order, the, the Roman numerals order. So then now the next question says, well, which region or regions represent B union C? B union C is what the B and C have in common. So where this circle and this circle overlap, which is these two sections. So that would be five and six. So B, oh no, B union, not intersection. B union C means everything in B and everything in C all collected together. So that means everything in this circle and everything in this circle. So it would be two, three, four, five, six, and seven, okay? And then number five says, which region, regions represent a complement? So basically here's A and everything outside of A. So that would be everything in this little sector, everything in this sector and including the outside space. So that would be three, six, seven, and eight. And of course we have plenty, plenty more. So number six, use the Venn diagram to list the set C in roster form. So you've got all the elements in there and they want C in roster form. So C is everything inside of here, which means it will be the elements 10, 11, 12, 14, and 16. 
Number seven says list the set of A union C. So it's all the elements in A and all the elements in C. So it's in both, okay? Um, so all the elements of A are one, three, four, six, 10, 11, and 12. And then all the elements of C are these same three elements. You don't need to list them twice, but also 14 and 16. And so that's this set here. Number eight says list the set of A union C complement. So basically all the numbers that are here that are not in A and C. So if you visualize these two grayed out everything else. So that would be seven, eight and 20, which is what I've got there. Then it says list the set A intersect C. So that's what A and C have in common, which would be these two sections here. So the numbers are 10, 11, and 12. And that's what we have there. Number 10 says use the Venn diagram to show, to answer the questions. So here we've got two circles again. Let's go for it. It says which region or regions is represented by A union B complement. That's a hard one, okay? So let's look at that. A is going to be uh, the set of I and, or one and two. Now B complement means everything outside of B, okay? So everything outside of B would be one and four. And it wants me to find the union, which means I'm going to write all of these elements together. So then this set is going to be um, one, which is twice, but you don't list it twice, two and four. Um, and it's just asking me for the region, so I don't really need to write the squigglies, but I did for some reason. I could have just said one and two, maybe, I don't know what symbol to write, but I wanna group these together and then group those together because it's these regions union with those regions. Okay, part B says, which region or regions represent the set B complement union A? Well, we already know that B complement is this, right? This is B complement and this is A. But if I'm trying to find their, their uh, union, it's just the two together. So it's the same list as before. Okay, so it really doesn't matter which set goes on which side the union is still gonna be the same. And it says, based on both parts A and B, what can be concluded about A union B complement and B complement union A? Basically, they're the same, right? We got the same exact regions for both. Now, here's another one, number 11. It says, which region represent, which region or regions represent set a complement, B complement. So A complement is everything outside of this A. I wish I had a quarter, but I don't. Um, I can try to go find one, but it's probably gonna be craziness to go try to find one. Um, I, I don't know. I really wish I had a quarter. I just put this thing here. <laughs> so I have a dime. Um, so if I cover up, imagine this is bigger, right? And I'm covering up A, the complement would be three and four. And then now imagine I'm covering up all of B, the complement of B would be one and four, okay? And if I'm looking at the union of these two sets, it's basically all of that information together. So one, three, and four all together. Now part B says, what region or regions represent A intersect B complement? Well, A intersect B is what the two sections have in common, which is this section here, part section two, might not be clear. And so then the complement is gonna basically be everything outside of that little sliver. So it's gonna be one, three, and four. And it's the same thing, isn't it? So you ended up establishing this relationship that this is equivalent to this. You can kind of like distribute the complement, but then it changes the intersection to a union. Um, for number 12, it says, 
what region or regions represent the set A intersect of B union C? So A is all of these guys, one, two, four, and five, which have been listed here. B union C is everything in B and everything in C. So it's two, three, four, or no, two, three, five, six, which are here. And then for C, you already got five, six, but you also have to include four and seven, okay? So we've got two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now I need to take the intersection of these two, these two regions. So what two regions, do, or what regions do they all have in common? They have the two region in common, they have the four region in common, and they have the five region in common. Now, what region represents the set A intersect B union A intersect C? So A intersect B is this little sliver here, which is two and, and five. A intersect C is this little sliver here, which is four and five. And then if I wanna take the union of those two things, it's gonna basically mean list them all. So two, um, four, and then the shared five. And it says, are these sets equal? Yes, they are equal. Don't we get the same two regions or the same three regions? Um, number 13 says, use the same Venn diagram as number 12. So we'll still use that graph or this diagram. Um, and it says, what regions represent the set A intersect B union C? So A, again, is what's in this bubble, one, two, four, five, one, two, four, five. B, union C is everything in both of these. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then if I want the intersection of A and B union C, it's what the two things have in common. So they both have a two, they both have a four, and they both have a five. So that's the sets that they have in common. Um, now what, regions represent the set A union B intersect C. So B inter or A is the same, right? A is everything in here, one, two, four, five, all that there. B intersect C is this sliver right here, which is five and six. And then if I take the union of these two regions, that means list all the regions. So one, two, four, five, and then uh, five is repeated and then six. And so now I have all of these. Are those the same? No, they're not. They don't have the same exact regions shaded. Now this one has three questions based off of this graph, okay? So here's my graph. Um, we've got a math tutor working with a small study group has classified students in the group by whether or not they scored 80% or above on each of the three exams. The results are shown in the Venn diagram to the left. So here you have exam one, apparently Pat, Nye, Ken, Lon, Jen, and Roz all scored greater than 180, greater than 80% on exam one. Flo, Gus, Jen, Ross, and Mill, um, scored more than 80% on exam two. Um, Lun, Jen, Ross, Mel, I, I think this is pronounced we, but I'm not sure. Um, Ava, Cam, they all scored uh, over 80% on exam three. And then these people out here, since they're not in any of the circles, that means these guys did not score over 80% on any of the three exams. So number 14 says, use the Venn diagram to represent the set of students who scored 80% or above on exam three. So exam three means all the people in this circle. So that's gonna be Lun, Jen, Roz, Mel, Ava, Kui, and Cam, all of them. Now number 15 says, use the Venn diagram to represent the set of students who scored 80% or above on exam one and exam three. That's the intersection of exam one and exam three. So here's exam one, here's exam three. This is the intersection, which means the only people in that list should be Lun, Jen, and Ross. Now number 16 says, Use the Venn diagram to represent the set of students who scored 80% or above on exactly one exam. So these three guys scored an 80% or above on just exam one. 
these two on just exam two and these three on just exam three. So my list is gonna have Pat, Nye, Ken, Flo, Gus, Ava, Hui, and Cam. And that's exactly what I have here. Pat, Nye, Ken, Flo, Gus, Ava, Hui, and Cam. Now, similarly for this one, our last four questions are going to come from this information. So it says the chart shows the most popular vacation destinations booked at a certain travel agency in 2003, 2004, and 2005. And so they have all of them listed here for 03, here for 04, and here for 05, and there's the diagram. This circle represents all the countries that are in, um, or all the destinations in 23. This one represents everybody in 24, and this one represents everybody in 25. It says, use the Venn diagram to indicate which region St. Kitts should be placed. So St. Kitts is not in 2003. St. Kitts does appear in 2004, and it does appear in 2005. So St. Kitts should be uh, positioned so that it is not in 2003, but it is in 2004 and 2005. So in order for me to be in both 2004 and 2005, I've got to be in this region. But since I cannot be in, in 2003, that means it has to be in region six. Okay. Now, if this one says, use the Venn diagram to indicate which region Key West should be placed. Well, Key West happens to show up in 2003 and 2004. It is not showing up in 2005. So it has to be somewhere where 2003 and 2004 have in common, but not 2005. So 2003 and 2004 are in common here. And since it cannot be in uh, the 2005 group, that means it has to be region two. And then number 19 says, use the Venn diagram to indicate in which region Fiji should be placed. So Fiji is not in 2003, it is not in 2004, but it is in 2005. So it has to be placed in the 2005, but it can't be in 2003 and it cannot be in 2004, which means it has to be in this region um, seven. And so that's what we have there. And then the last one says, use the Venn diagram to indicate in which region St. Lucia should be placed. St. Lucia is in all three of those years. So St. Lucia will be in this one little section where all three of the circles include. And so that is section five. And that is the end of this particular le lesson. Um, I will see you guys in the next one.